Okay, so this is a dream, or a nightmare. High school's over. I had good times, made good friends, had good memories. Memories, 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 memories. It was just one of those things. Just one of those crazy things. Just one of those things. Hey, you guys. Hey, what are y'all doing? On our way to class. We're about to be late. Yeah. yeah. We're about to be late, too. Yeah, we're gonna be... How dare you say that my behavior is unacceptable? So condescending, unnecessary, and critical. I have the tendency of getting very... <laughs> I'm about to be late, too. I have a huge crush on Mr. Flink. He is like the best person. I always look at him in class. Uh, he's just wonderful. What was Tony? I love Tony, Tony Mercado. John Tipton, I mean, have you seen the guy? This guy is so cute, it's my baby. All right, and um, I have a crush on Coach Lee James because that's going to be my husband one day. Um. Alfredo and Jordan Green, sorry, Brianne, sophomore year. and. Senior and junior year was Chris Duran. And I can't forget about Tony and Renee. Love y'all. Probably Brian, because he can take out all the girls in dancing. <laughs> Brian Gomez, because he's so gorgeous and he has the booty of a black girl. Alejandro Davila and Brandon Carter. And my senior crush is Juan Silva. Hector, because he is so freaking cute. And Daniel Tolar. Andrew De La Cruz. 
you are so fine. Like, I am in love with you. Like, you should call me sometimes. I love you. You're, like, one of my crushes. And um, I also like Bernardo, the real tall guy. Tall guy. He's fine, too. I think he's hot. His name is Hector. And, and mine's Brian because he's, he's dirty. dirty. <laughs> Dominique Blakely. I mean, boy, that's my... Whew, we got this total love, hate thing going. Um, Mr. Martin is, you know, the top of the list. Like, nobody has beat him ever. Um, this guy named Jesse Segala, like, I don't, it was because he had braces, but he doesn't anymore, but even though, like, he's still hot. Alexis Paul, I love her. Portia Bell, my boo. Kwanzaa, my lady. My senior crushes are these girls right here. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Shakira, you know, baby girl. Uh, Miss Block, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Miss Block, yeah. Miss Robin, oh, I always had a crush on her. My crush would have to be Mr. Kim, too. My crush this year was that Brazilian boy. I don't know what his name is, but he's really cute. Holler. I do have a crush on Hector Cabello. He's so sexy. <laughs> My senior crush is Nate Tarpley. <laughs> My crush, I got a crush on all the sexy ladies around here. Lena had a crush on you since the moment I saw you were in an Invader Zim shirt in Mr. Zachary's class the first day we met. Robin, you're really hot. My puppy get ran over by an 18 wheeler, and I could just look at you and everything would be all right. You also have really nice hands. I mean, you have really nice hands. Dong, you're Asian, and you're ranked number one. That's really hot. Lizzie, you have really curly hair, and I really like that. Alex, I love your bottom lip. Cindy, I love your dimple. Ellie, I love the way you laugh. And I'm, whoever's sitting next to Johnny right now, look at his small ears because they're the cutest thing you're ever going to see. And I don't care who knows it, and I just said it there. All right, so anything that happens after filming is considered post-production. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I call you Andy? Uh, that's probably not appropriate. Okay, so, uh, movie Yes, sir. What's your favorite movie? Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's, that's a great movie. That's a great movie. So let's talk about it after class, Tony. Uh, so anything that happens after filming, Wait, Andy, Andy, Yes, sir. Uh, what's your favorite band? The Beatles. The Beatles. It is a good thing. It's my too. It's my too. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about them when we get to audio. Um, so, speaking of audio, re-recording is necessary. Uh, May, yes, sir. Yes. I was reading this whole book, and nowhere does it say uh, how awesome you are. My favorite teacher is Mr. Dean, because he has helped us out a lot with uh, with college. Not just me, but other students. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Goyne, because he's like a grandfather to me. Uh, he feeds us crackers and water, and he gives us good advice, and he's really cool. Ms. Boston, because she never got me in trouble for talking. As a matter of fact, she encouraged me to talk. And Gendro, because um, he didn't care if I was goofy or not. He thought I was pretty funny. Ms. Boston, because she's so nice, you know. She lets you go in there. She's like my little mama at school. Ms. Toyd. <laughs> I love her so much. She's so funny. My favorite teacher is Gendro, and I like him because, I don't know, he's funny and he gets my jokes. Miss Hanks, I never had it for a teacher, but you know, you can use imagination for that one. Miss Hammonds? Miss Hammonds. Wow. Mr. Bennett. Uh, this was my first year having him, but you know, he's one of the coolest teachers that I got. Miss Abbott and Coach Dean. Yeah. And the rest of the coaching staff, because they're cool. Mr. Dean, because he, you know, he's really, he, he motivates us and try to get us to go to college and helps us out with all our college stuff. Mr. Colvin, the band teacher, because he's always influenced me to do the best that I could do. That'd be kind of hard because I think like every teacher here kind of touched me in their own special way. But my favorite two would have to be Alfaro and Miss Boston. Mr. Morrow, um, he's just real cool. He can relate to us, uh, just him being younger and he just taught me a whole lot. Miss Lancardi, because she's always cutting me slack. Mr. Dean, because he's really cool. Mr. O, Mr. Sloan, and Miss Boston. My favorite teachers are Miss Tweed, Mr. Morrow, Coach Eldridge, and although he is gone, Mr. C. That was my heart right there. Miss D. Smith, uh, she's a very great teacher and she helps us out in everything. My band director, Ernest Colvin, just because he's the only teacher that actually put up with all my BS all four years. Mr. Martin, I love Mr. Martin. Like, not as it, like I love Mr. Martin. Miss Lancardi, she's pushed me the hardest and thanks to her, I'm gonna graduate with the rest of my classmates. Miss Lancardi, because she's always there for us and 
She always does anything for us to pass. And my favorite teacher is Miss Lane Cardi, you know, because she's cool. I always skip in her class. My favorite teacher, uh, Mr. Curtis, I think you're really cool. My favorite teachers are Ms. Tweed and Mr. Flink because they help me with college applications and scholarships. Mr. Flink because he's real cool. He knows how to make you laugh when you're having a bad day. And my favorite teacher will be Senor Cruz. And well, my favorite teacher is Bennett, Mr. Bennett. My teacher, favorite teacher would be Mr. Ruffin. He's a little crazy and out there, but he's fine. What you thinking about, Lexus? Girls, the memories, well, all over four years. Uh, I remember my freshman year, I had wore some high heel shoes and I had fell down the stairs. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I remember with me and Paola Hernandez, we had office assistant, and we had to go out there to the field house, mm -hmm. and <laughs> we got to take about like four dogs. Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny, because it was scary. <laughs> she was gone in them heels. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all talking about? Seeing memories, dang. Oh, I got a good one. Man, we sitting in class, and me, Ruben, and Chris, and then Ruben nose started bleeding out of nowhere, man. It was something like after the exit, man. He was like, oh, nah, oh this is nasty. That was funny, man. What you talking no, about? No, it's not. It's senior memories. Six of us decided to go to the park, <laughs> and we were hanging out, and then we decided to pull a prank on somebody, and they got us back, though. It was really scary. They started chasing us down the highway, and they so pulled up scared. against us. They were like, we're going to kill you. He had a ski mask and oh said, God. we're going to kill you. And then he pulled up again with a baseball bat and attempted to smash the window. It was we were so scared. scared. We were terrified. I was walking in a jack in a box with my best friend, and then I just felt something warm fall on my eye. And <laughs> And I started screaming and I said, oh my God, a bird just put it in my eye. And he just started laughing and it was the most disgusting thing. And it was something black on my eye and it was just really, it was just, uh. Freshman year, we were doing our first play and we were changing backstage. And then I couldn't find my pants. So I was looking around frantically for my pants. I turned around, Cynthia is wearing my pants. You know, just hanging out with my friends at lunch or especially exemption days, not being able to be here on tax, and just chilling with Alexis in her car, high-siding on people. Maria, Maria Gomez, Gomez. <laughs> she fell down the stairs, and her skirt went up, and like, And we could see, see all her goodies. Junior year, when we found out about our tax scores, that morning, my heart was pounding out of my chest. I remember when the jerk song had came out, and I let Juice get on top of my car and he started jerking and now I have a permanent dent in my little 96 Honda Accord. It was a homecoming pep rally and we were in the auditorium and one of our friends let out a chicken and everybody was all jumping around scared of a chicken. When I won the competition, going nationals. Probably January when I was chosen to be the game tournament chairman. When we were at Taco Bell with the guys, Brandon, Tony, and Juan Carlos, and uh, we saw these two girls, fat girls, fighting, and it was intense, too intense. We were running up the steep stairs, you know, the ones by the choir room, and we were running, and Layla fell, and she rolled down the <laughs> stairs, and we just turned around, and we looked, and we just kept on running, we just left her. On Gender Bender Day, we all dressed up as guys, and I had a mohawk that day, and I was a cute boy. Playing with all these football players, my team makes you know, so I have fun with them. My senior game where we had the last game for band, just because it was awesome. And I probably the only, besides the band students, the only seniors have been to 44 games. Most about senior year would be homecoming week because everybody had fun. Senior skip day, everybody was all together and happy and actually getting along. It would have to be this food fight that me and my friends did and it was hilarious. And I joined in. Yes, yeah. well she started it. John Mayer, I will kill you. Tiger, uh, you just gotta stop. Cruel and unusual punishment. Brock, I gotta go, I got another call. Sarah, what's up? Ah, I see you have made it, young grasshopper. 
Now, what is it you have to ask? Sage Guru, Master Roshi, what's the meaning of life? Before you can find purpose in life, you must first listen to the wind. What will I do after high school? Before you can find purpose, you must reach for the cherry and then take it to a Justin Bieber concert. You know, I walked like half a mile to get here, probably even more. You're not even a real sage. Listen, if you want real advice, just ask the class of 2010. Sage out. Be a bad school, don't get your head tied up in all this unnecessary stuff. Yeah, you can have fun and party, but still be a bad school and do what you gotta do, pass tax, go to class, get your credit, and graduate. Don't get into AP classes if you're not gonna be able to make it. It ruins your GPA. My words of wisdom for you freshman girls, it deals with boys. Um, always try to find honesty in them because tech boys are liars. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> they are. But have fun and make friends. Pass, Pass your tech test. <laughs> <laughs> like, my wisdom to you is like, do enough to get by, but like, don't overachieve. Make some memories. Don't be boring. Don't be, you know, just, oh, I'm going to go to class. Just, you know, have some fun. A wisdom for the underclassmen is to stay up and stay out of trouble. One thing I can tell y'all is to not copy anybody's work, keep up on your work, and have a good relationship with the campus monitors and all your teachers. Don't leave anything, everything to the last minute. Yeah, so that's what we that. did, and boy. You're gonna be rushing the last minute, you're gonna have to get everything together, and it's not worth it. Just do what you gotta do, get it over with, and at the end, you're just gonna enjoy your senior year. Never hold anything off, always stay organized, do as much as you can when you can, stay focused, never be like her, because she's really messy. Don't procrastinate, it gets you in big trouble. Um, my word of wisdom would be get involved and have fun yeah. in what you like to do. Go to the fullest, work work your hardest, you know, do your best at everything. Just don't be no flunky and don't let anybody make you into something that you're not. Just be you. Be yourself. Don't try to fit into the in crowd because usually that's not the exact people you want to be around. Don't try to wait till your junior and senior year to get your grades on track. You know, start from the beginning doing good and finish doing good. Make five friends and make sure one of them has a car. Wisdom, I can tell to underclassmen is pick teachers that's cool. <laughs> Trimble Tech has always been known for its academics, but this year we had a really good year with sports. But Trimble Tech is also known for, no. But this year Trimble Tech had a really good year, no wait. What do I say? What do I say? Line. Sports. Sports. It's like I would say. Ow! Um, I'm kosher. I can't touch this. Touchdown! <laughs> <laughs> All right! Woo! Ah! Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the... I think a baseball fell on my foot. There are a lot of athletes you can look up to, like Tiger Woods or Michael Vick. He did what? Um, can I get this in another color? Football in Mexico, but football in America. Sports! Uh, we're the seniors of Trimble Tech Baseball of 2010. My favorite memory is uh, we went to the Lindale tournament and Fudge fell asleep and <laughs> we rolled out his face and we put a nightgown on him. My most memorable moment is when we were in Coach's truck and I changed all his presets and then the next day I get a text message saying who changed my presets because I, I, I rear-ended somebody. When we were at the Everman tournament and Isaac was dancing to the Boom Boom Pal song with a black eyed peas. And the Diamond Hill softball girls were in the bus behind us laughing at him and he didn't know. Me and Isaac were going at it real bad and then I shut him out. <laughs> That's my most memorable moment. This is the 2010 Trimble Tech varsity basketball team. I have two singing moments. Is where one, when we made the playoffs, and two, when this guy was the only guy running around barking like a dog at Pasco High School. When Dre was at Polly and he got crossed and then he heard his back and said he had a back spasm. Both. And we was at North Crowd and he thought he was just oh so cool when we was doing the drills, going up for layups all clean and stuff, and slipped and bust his ass. <laughs> hey man, it was a puddle of water. 
We are class of 2010, Trimble Tech's varsity football team. Can I get Bulldogs on me? Bulldogs on three. One, two, three. Bulldogs! <laughs> My most memorable moment would have to be this year against Conrad, you know. We were uh, going into the fourth quarter, down by a touchdown, I think. And on the last series, uh, I stripped the quarterback, we recovered it, offense went in and scored. The poly game, when we was down 20 to nine at halftime, you know, then we rallied together in the locker room, you know, and we came back and won that game. I remember my last game here at Trimble Tech against Wide, we won 20 to 13. It was kind of close, but I was glad that we finished off with a win. <laughs> Hi, this is the Senior Lady Bulldogs team 2010. Woo! <laughs> My favorite moment would be like every everything. I think I had so much fun and Carla, oh my God, she made us laugh so much. And then Arlena, she thinks Alexander's hers, but he's mine. And then, so we had a lot of cat fights. Um, Every moment was memorable to me, especially when Arlena did her first score and she was like, oh my gosh, coach, did you see me? Did you see me? That was so hilarious. <laughs> When we, first, when we won our first playoff game against Northside, we beat him 1-0 at the last minute. Carla, <laughs> she always made us laugh and she was like, the clown. <laughs> we made it! I'm here to talk to you about a very serious subject. Ups, ugly baby syndrome. At least 70 ugly babies are born each minute. Ugly baby syndrome affects five out of six students here at Trimble Tech. There is a way that you can help to prevent it. Don't date an ugly person. Don't get married with an ugly person. I suffer from ugly baby syndrome. We can save you before it's too late. Cause ugly babies need someone to love them too. Sure you tell daddy that I'm still his 
sometimes in this big old place. Yeah, I know there's more important things, but don't forget to This has been a remarkable year filled with fun times, great friends, and memories we'll keep forever. But it was also marked by tragedy with the loss of our friend Chris Fonseca. Chris was uh, cool. He was pretty talkative. He didn't know the meaning of chill. And uh, he was a nice guy. Chris was nice. He put everyone before him. And he was always smiling every time you see him in the hallway. Smile. Chris was always there. And we appreciated Chris, we love Chris, um, and he will be missed. Christopher, the day we lost you is a day I'll never forget, because that's the day I lost a brother. His kindness had no limits. This kid was truly one of a kind. What matters the most is the time that Chris spent with us here on Earth. Those who love Chris, those who knew Chris will always remember him. Chris, we'll miss you. Tony. Tony, wake up. Tony, wake up. Tony, Tony wake up. Tony, get up. Where are you? Tony, Hello? wake up. Tony, come on. I had a dream, but you weren't there, and you weren't there. And you weren't there. No, Tony, you just passed out. Again. Well, I found out it's going to be OK after graduation. We're still going to be friends and stuff. Yeah. Of course. Always. Yeah. Always. Huh? Sure.